This is an overview of ITG Center Program Management. I'm Jack Campbell. In this video, we will take a look at the performance metrics for a program portlet and how to configure it. The performance metrics for a program provides program managers with information about the current state of their program. The metrics help to answer the question, are you where you had planned to be at this point in the program, and if not, are you ahead or behind schedule? The metrics also forecast what the future state of the program will be at its conclusion. Is it likely that you will accomplish all the work you had planned in the scheduled time frames? By reviewing the metrics over time, program managers are able to spot trends in the performance of the program and introduce corrective measures if needed. If you are not familiar with the performance metrics, there is a separate online training available that goes into greater details, and I will provide information at the end of this video on where you can access that training. I've already logged into ITG Center, and I've navigated to the personalized dashboard screen where I've already created a new dashboard. We do recommend that you create a separate dashboard for this metrics portlet. If you need assistance creating the dashboard, you may want to review the previous video where we covered how to create a dashboard. To add the metrics portlet, click on the Add Portlet button, and from the Category menu, select Program Management, and click Find Portlets. Check the box next to Performance Metrics for a program and click Add. To configure the metrics portlet, click the Edit button located on the top right corner of the portlet. There are two primary preferences that need to be set in the portlet, the metrics as of time period and the program. The metrics as of time period is very important in determining what metrics get displayed in the portlet, and it is a value that you will likely need to be updated each time you view the metrics to ensure that you are viewing the metrics for the desired time period. Metrics from the start of the program through whatever data is selected from the drop-down menu is what will be displayed in the portlet. Once you have selected the metrics as of time period, then select your program. The sort by value should be left to its default, which is project name. The number of rows might need to be adjusted if you have more than 10 projects in your program. As for the columns, I would leave the defaults as they are unless there are certain metrics you do not want to see. Finally, you may want to update the title for the portlet. Click the Change Title button on the upper right hand corner, enter the desired title, and click Change. Be sure to save your changes to the portlet preferences by clicking the Save button. To see the results, click the Go To Page View button. Once the dashboard is generated, we can see the portlet displays a single line for each project in the program that summarizes the metrics for the project. If you see a value for a particular project that is concerning and you'd like to dig deeper, you can add the performance metrics for a project portlet to the dashboard and set it up to display the metrics for the specific project that may be having some issues. This portlet will break down the metrics for the project by activity, allowing you to see more detail and identify where the project may be having problems. If you need assistance interpreting the metrics you see in this portlet, an online series of videos is available that provides an overview of how to read and interpret these performance metrics. Go to the ITG Governance Initiatives website to access this training. This concludes the fourth video in the ITG Center Program Management Overview. I hope you found this overview to be helpful. We appreciate your feedback and ask you to complete a short survey available in the column to the right of this video. As I've mentioned before, a quick reference guide is also available in the column to the right of this video. Finally, if you need assistance with program management, be sure to open a ticket by contacting the Campus Technology Helpline and someone will be in touch with you to answer your questions.